Hey man, this little black box could be the answer to all your studio isolation problems. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com and this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. And today we have a special wavy rating of the iconic Mars Comet. Now, this is just like one of those pieces of foam that you have seen me review on this channel before that you basically just slip over your microphone and it should relieve any of the um, room noise and room sound that you get. And all the extra reverberation and reflections in the room that you don't want into your vocal recordings. Um, this is going to help you to alleviate that. Now, in the past, I have reviewed several other of these types of isolators, right? Like this one. I also have this joint that used to be on the market that is no longer available on the market in the US. We're gonna see how it stands up against those in this test and is it worth the price? Does it really actually help to isolate your microphones? So I'm gonna be rating this iconic Mars Comet in 10 different categories, including features, build quality, aesthetics, support, versatility, ease of use, performance, availability, the price, and of course, the wavy factor. So first, let's get this thing unboxed and see what we got. All right, so inside of here is the actual iconic Mars Comet Pro. Wow. Look at that. Nice. Nice packaging. Very clean. A portable studio booth is what it says it is. Now, let's see. Configuration and portability. It's lightweight, six ounces, fits on your microphone, making it easy to carry and set up anywhere. Crafted with state-of-the-art technology, artists can now record flawless performances in any environment. We gonna put that to the test, man. <laughs> Simplify your life. This isolation provided by Comic drastically lowers the sound variables that occur, making your tracks sound like they were recorded inside a high-end studio. All right, um, reducing the need for excessive equalization during post-production. At Iconic Mars, we understand sound foundation is key to a flawless performance. Due to this reason, the Comic Pro is designed and tested by audio professionals with extensive real world experience design right here in America, in California. So let me go ahead and pop this open. Got my Iconic Mars. And here it is. So pretty much what I was expecting, right? Uh, we got another uh, package here. This is gonna include our our pop filter, and it looks like there's some instructions and other stuff like that inside of here. So inside of here, we get uh, Iconic Mars a sticker, record anywhere, anytime. I love that, uh, that saying that they have. They have a support number, which you know I'm big on, right? So they got actually, um, I'm sorry, contact. It's an email here that you can contact uh, support if you need it. They got the setup instructions right here on the back. Uh, really simple to set up, just four simple steps. Detach the pop filter. Um, da, 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 da. Insert the microphone, insert the pop filter, and then it can be placed on top of the shock mount. Okay, cool. We got a thank you card and 20% off of your next one. 20% off. I ain't gonna give y'all my 20% code but 20% off of my next product that I get from them, which is dope. Um, I like this pop filter. This might be one of the better pop filters. I'll start off with this because this is actually a double shielded um, pop filter. So I can see this actually is a, a nylon, right? It's nylon pop filter, but it is double, which will actually help to stop the plosives. So it's a, a sheet of nylon here and one on the back. And once this all comes together, just like y'all imagine, you know, I just pop that in there. Ooh, that fits real snug and tight. That's uh, that looks really cool. Um, this I like the little afro look. So let me compare this though to to the cheaper cousin, the Outtron, right? This one just has now it is double, but this 
the nylon on here is kind of flimsy and they real close together. I like the spacing of the nylon on the Iconic Mars a whole lot better because that spacing is actually gonna help to trap the air and, and get it away from the microphone so that we won't get those plosives. And if we look at this joint here, okay, we also have a similar thing. So this is very similar to the Iconic Mars in the spacing of how they have actually set their um, pop filter. So we got uh, we got a couple of couple of things happening here. Um, the so far, you know, when I think about this and I think about the features for what it is, is is lightweight. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like the lightest of these. It actually feels like a little heavier uh, than the Altron uh, unit. And I guess it's, it feels actually even a little heavier, you know, than the uh, the Chaotica eyeball. I'll, I'll put these to the test on my, on my food scale if I really wanted to know. But overall, they are pretty lightweight and shouldn't have any problem with putting this on your microphone. It has a nice size hole at the bottom that should fit most microphones. Um, as far as features on this, um, I'm gonna give the Iconic Mars a 10 out of 10 on features because it's just simply gonna do what you need to do. When you think about a, um, a microphone isolator, like I don't expect much more than what I'm getting right here and it's giving me everything that I expect. So 10 on the features. Now let's talk about the build quality. I can tell that this is some high quality foam. I don't feel like I'm gonna tear it or rip it or anything is gonna happen. I don't feel like it's gonna lose its shape anytime soon. It feels very sturdy, very rigid. I really like, the, out of all of the pop filters, this feels the most premium to me. Feels like the most premium pop filter. Let me see, pop, 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 pop. As I'm doing, I'm doing this, I'm blowing. To see if I get any air to fill on my hand, I don't feel any air hitting my hand, which letting me know that this is actually filtering uh, the air exactly how it should be. So build quality on this, man, is gonna also be an easy 10 out of 10. Now, when it comes to aesthetics, like, I mean, it's a good looking one. It definitely looks better than this. You know, um, it still looks a little weird. Kind of look like a little astronaut head, if I'm not lying. But if I had to guess between these two, and actually, the, the, even the foam, the foam on this one feels a lot more dense uh, than the foam on this uh, eyeball over here. But the, you know, the aesthetics, it is what it is. I'll give it a 10 out of 10 on looks. It, it doesn't look bad. It's not like a, a super cute thing, but it's not gonna be um, intrusive to the microphone. It's, it just reminds me of similar to the thing like I have right here on the microphone, and it's kind of shaped like that, a normal windscreen that you would put on the microphone. So 10 out of 10 on aesthetics. Now, let's talk about support. I like that uh, Iconic Mars did include a support you know, email on a card that lets you know right out the jump that they, that they are gonna be there to help you if you got any problems. I don't see that you will have any issues with this unless you bought it and it was like, you know, funky or something, because somebody else used it. I can't see like anything going wrong, but let me check out their website real quick just to see if there is any type of uh, warranty. I don't see any information like that right now. Okay, so I don't, they, they have support on their website and they have a, um, a email that you can contact them and they include that in. I don't see a necessarily warranty Oh, uh, but they also have a 30 day money back guarantee, which is cool. For a product like this, I don't think that there's gonna be many issues, like I said at all. It's pretty much impossible to break this or have any damage happen to it. So we're gonna get a nine out of 10 out of support. I wish I would've just seen a little bit of a warranty or something like that to just give me an extra reinsurance, but uh, maybe even like a 60 day or a 90 day um, guarantee, like for your money back or return policy if I don't like it. Um, but. Not a, not a bad deal. Now, when it comes to versatility of a product like this, we're not really asking for too much. I just wanna be able to record vocals wherever I'm at, travel with this nice and nice and neat. It would've been nice if it had like a travel bag or something to protect it, but that would've been cool. Um, but yeah, we it, it does one job and, and hopefully it does that one job well. That's to just put over the microphone and allow me to record vocals. It's not too big to where it's like, a big old microphone shield that's kind of hard to travel with or kind of can block the line of sight if you're working in the studio. So when it comes to versatility, we're gonna give the Iconic Mars 
Comet a nine out of 10. All right, now let's talk about ease of use. It really don't get too much easier than this. You take a microphone, you put it in the hole, you put it on the shock mount, and then you're ready to go. So um, yeah, ease of use, you simply put your microphone in the hole, you put your pop filter on it, it doesn't get any simpler than that. There ain't nothing to, to learn. There's no learning curve on this. 10 out of 10 on the ease of use. Now, I know what you're here for. I know what y'all want to see. Y'all want to see how does this thing perform. So let's put it to the test. And I'm going to take my other friends, too, and see how they all stack up against the iconic Mars. So let's go. I'm going to leave the studio and like go upstairs into an untreated room in the house and see which one of these actually helps to filter out the noise the best. All right. Or actually get rid of the room sound and give me nice, clean vocals wherever I'm at. So let's go to another space and see how the iconic Mars actually performs. All right, y'all. So we are in my living room and I'm on my Sony C80 microphone completely um, untreated. This room is a big room. It has a lot of reverberation. It has absolutely zero treatment in this room. We got laundry going on in the back, ACs, kids running around, all of that. Let's start off with the cheap option, the Alctron Pre F8, which you can't even get anymore, but let's see how this helps to isolate uh, the sound on this mic. Put it over the mic. The hole on this one is a little big, and so it doesn't really... Uh, get us too much. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer to the microphone just to try to eliminate some of the room noise. And let's see, I'm gonna one, two, three into the four. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at the door, ready to make an entry. So back on up before I have to pull the strap on, y'all. All right, so that's the Alctron PF8. Let's try the most expensive option, which is the Chaotica Eyeball. And I do want y'all to know that this is a very extreme example, right? Ideally, you would want some kind of treatment in your room. Uh, it might not be this live, but this is a very live room. Now, the uh, actual, the hole on this one is a lot tighter. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. If I can get this to be down a little more. Take that off, make sure that we right there on the microphone, yeah. And we're gonna close that off. And so one, two, three into the four. Snoop Doggy Doggy Dr. Dre is at the door, ready to make an entrance. So back on up before I had to pull the strap on ya. Yeah, uh, okay. So that's the expensive Chaotica eyeball, you know, definitely giving us a lot more shielding. And let's go for the Iconic Mars comment. Let's see what we got there. So it's definitely good practice to take your pop filter off first so that you can see where exactly and how the uh, microphone is being placed on here. This microphone is kind of small. This might not be the best microphone to do this uh, test with because it's so it's so small, but there we go. All right, um, let's see. I'm gonna put my pop filter back on and let's see. One, two, three into the four. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at the door, ready to make a move <laughs> entrance. So back on up before I have to pull the strap on ya. Uh. And this is the iconic Mars. Now, to me, just listening through the headphones, this one actually offers the most isolation that I've heard all day i'm still hearing some of the room noise it could just be me speaking in the room and hearing it back but i'm going to go down to the studio listen to these audio files and see how much of this actually got into the recording and then we'll make our decision on the performance of the iconic mars all right y'all so i just tried out the iconic mars upstairs in my living room and to be honest the pfa the uh, chaotica eyeball and the iconic mars all did a pretty good job at isolating in that really kind of reverberant space and i was actually surprised at that uh, but if i had to be honest the marginally better i really didn't 
feel like I heard too much room noise at all from the iconic Mars. So like hats off to y'all, man. I'm gonna get it a 10 out of 10 on performance. The next category that we're gonna be rating on is gonna be availability. Now, when I researched the iconic Mars Comet, you can actually get it directly from iconicmars.com and it'll ship within a couple of days or you can even buy it on Amazon. And if you got Amazon Prime, that thing might even be at your door tomorrow. They are even for sale on Reverb and a few other outlets. Not my favorite ones, but you know, they are available at most places and they're easy to find. So you're gonna get a 10 out of 10 on availability. Now, the Iconic Mars is listed as $129, but when you consider how expensive acoustic treatment can be and how, uh, you know, how much money we potentially could make from making some really great sounding records. I think that's a drop in the bucket, but it is literally a piece of foam. And I wish that that price would be closer to like kind of right around that hundred dollars or less. So I'm going to have to get this an eight out of 10 on the price, right? Even though it is a whole lot better than the two, $300 eyeball unit, but there is a $30 one that's doing pretty good. Even though we can't get that anymore, I wish we could have met somewhere in the middle. So eight out of 10 on the price. And when it comes to the overall wavy factor, um, I think that this is a great solution for anybody in a home studio or project studio, or if you're even cutting vocals on the go, maybe you're a touring um, engineer and you in the hotel rooms and things like that. This is actually a great and easy portable solution. It doesn't take up too much space and is really uh, lightweight. So you can travel with it. Don't have to worry about damaging it. And, and it's a whole lot easier than carrying around like a reflection filter or any other types of acoustic treatment. So when it comes to the wavy factor, taking into account everything that we've talked about today, I'm going to give this a strong nine out of 10. That brings the iconic Mars Comet Pro to an overall score of which I actually think is really good. So if you are struggling with getting the room tone out of your recordings, we're getting just cleaner recordings, more direct recordings, checking out the iconic Mars Comet Pro will be a great option for you. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the tests here that I've done today. And will you be copying one of these, man? I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Thanks for checking out this video. Be dope.